Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to our class, Natural Sciences, grade five. Good. My name is Lakitazi. I am your presenter for Natural Sciences, grade five. And please do follow me on my Twitter handle. It's Lakitazi. And I, I, I am looking forward to have a wonderful class with you today. And yeah, let's start our lesson. Just to do a quick recap. So yesterday we did um, a topic, or we covered uh, content based on metals and how some metals have uh, special properties. As you can see here, there's a picture with different types of uh, items which are made out of metal. And also, we did some um, some content on how metals can conduct heat and some metals are so magnetic. And we also did how metals have many um, uses or usages. As you can see here in this picture, we, all of this picture, all of these pictures here, they are made out of, uh, let's say all of these items are made out of metal. As you can see, there's, uh, there's car keys, there's a cartridge, there's a cup, there's a pen, um, a frying pan, and all sorts of things as, yeah, definitely. And so all of these things here, yeah, they are made out of, of metal, right? Okay, good. Then at the end of the lesson, I want you guys to know that how can how can we make new material? Basically, today's content, it's based on processing material. Our topic for today, it's processing material. Let me go through our chat box. Okay. Okay, and as you can see, there's a picture of uh, learners at school. They are baking or maybe they're making, um, or probably, let's say they are cooking, and so, we all know that when you are cooking, you have to mix different processed materials in order for you to find to find a desired outcome. Okay. Then here's a question. Okay, is um, how does the amount of material we start with affect the amount of new material we can make? Okay, even if you don't answer me for now, but these are the objectives that you are going to learn for for today's uh, lesson, okay. Okay, new way to, um, you are going to learn today, it's, um, it's mixture, dissolve, solution, raw materials, process concrete and cement okay when we combine materials new materials are made okay let's say perhaps we want to bake um, a cake we combine different raw materials your flour your egg your baking powder and sugar we combine them and we do whatever ingredients we would desire in order for the final outcome to be as perfect, okay? The properties of the new materials are often different from the properties of materials we started with. Just imagine yourself, you want to bake um, a birthday cake for your friend and you've got all the ingredients in front of you. Therefore, the final outcome, it will be a complete cake. The final outcome, it won't be eggs, it won't be flour, it won't be uh, sugar, but the raw materials that are in that process of producing a cake will be your flour, your sugar, your eggs, you can name them, but the final outcome, it will be completely different compared to the raw material that we started with. Okay, there are many ways to uh, process uh, existing materials into new materials. There are also many reasons why we would need to process materials into new, into new materials. 
sort of about that. Okay. When we when we bake a cake, as I said earlier on. Okay. When we bake a cake, we are processing flour, eggs, and other ingredients that might not taste very nice on their own. Okay. Into a cake. So whenever we make a cake, as I said, you mix so many ingredients in order for your final outcome to have a, a wonderful taste. Okay. Good. Let's go to the following one. Okay, people have been uh, processing natural um, resources such as um, the reeds, uh, the grass that is being used for for many houses in in the rural areas. Okay, can I go through our chat box and check? Okay. Um, Okay, guys, can you focus, please, on the chat? Can you focus? Please do not distract each other, please. Please. Okay, let's look at um, this picture here, this picture of um, a rural um, or traditional house. Okay. As we can see here that um, the roof is made out of, is made out of grass and the walls, they are made out of clay. Okay. Okay. Then um, we are going to learn more about how processing of uh, clay pots, we're going to learn more about um, how bricks are made, we're going to learn more about heads and mats and and touch roofs. And this will be our, this will be our touch, um, touch roof or touch house, okay? Then, as I said that you are going to learn about uh, basket, hats, mats, and touch, okay? These items are, are made mostly from grass and, and the reeds, okay? So, Touch, as you learned about it in grade four, is uh, bundles of grass cut off certain uh, length. From your we try okay. To Guys, can you mute yourself? Because I am hearing voices from my side. Okay, let me just do this. Let me mute all just to save. Okay, good. As you know that the reeds um, and these church houses, which are known as uh, Kosaron devils, they are ancient houses from, from, they are dated years and years ago. And if we can look at this picture here, guys, let's look at this picture of um, this house. You can see uh, there's a reed, okay? They are grouped into three bundles, one, two, three, and there are bricks here, clay bricks. And also the roof on its own, it's, and the roof on its own is made out of, um, of grass or thatch, okay? Then um, weaving is a method used to uh, strengthen our uh, material. The fabrics that make our clothes um, are woven together to make them stronger and more durable. Okay, then this is a process, as we can see, there are three pictures here. One, two, three. This is a process of plating a, um, a tree, okay? Can I go through, as I go through our chat box to check if there are any questions? Okay, guys, can you just focus, please?
Okay, let's look at um, the following picture now below, um, below your screen. Okay, there's a picture of a house. Therefore, a complete house, in order for this house to be, in order for this house, yeah, to be complete, okay, it requires many bricks. And when you look on top of your screen, there are clay bricks. These are clay bricks, okay. When, when you learn about combining our materials, you learn about bricks made in rural settings, of which bricks made in rural settings, these are bricks made out of clay. Okay. Okay, no Tolo says, okay, say how are bricks made? Okay, not all of bricks are made out of, of, of clay. Um red clay or brown clay, cement, water, then you mix all of those ingredients, then you can produce beautiful um beautiful bricks then as soon as you are done with your bricks when they are wet you have you have to expose your bricks to high temperatures of which in traditional societies they used to um, expose those bricks to um to the sun place them outside of the uh, uh what's this the house put them in an open field whereby they can get more sunshine and after a few days maybe two days or three days or so then it's a complete, strong, durable brick. Okay. Traditional, um, uh, traditionally, bricks were made from clay soil, animal cow dung, and straw or grass. Okay. These materials were mixed together, molded into bricks, and then dried in the sun. As I said earlier on, Nicolo. these are used to build different structures such as walls, houses, and so forth. Okay, and so currently, bricks. So many companies use um, are using um, advanced ways of making bricks in 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 quantities. Some companies can produce thirty eight thousand bricks in an hour. And so in traditional societies, their methods were quite slower, but their final outcome that they desired, they, um, they got it. Okay. Often when we mix material together, the properties of the new materials or product is different from the properties of the material we started with. Okay, let's, good. Do you remember, um, do you remember what properties were, um, were involved in, in metal or non-metal? Do you remember what properties were involved in, in metal and non-metal? Remember, properties of metal where metal is shiny, metal is um, strong, uh, metal is ductile, and non-metal is soft, non-metal is, uh, is dull, and not so ever, those properties. Therefore, clay uh, um, bricks as well, bricks as well, they do have their own properties, okay? Bricks are durable, bricks are strong, bricks are big, bricks are heavy. Okay, let me go through our chat box. Okay, uh, Gallery J2 Core says, say what if uh, you pour the stone with water and the stone is not dry? Okay, what will happen? Okay, then um, Gallery uh, J2 Core, I hope you can introduce yourself uh, properly so that I can maybe call you by your name. If you pour water in um, in a wet um, in a wet brick, that brick it will break easily because you have to wait for that brick to be strong and you have to expose that brick to the sunshine. Okay. 
Bouchet says, um, they lead to metal can rust, definitely. Bouchet, some metals are used for ports. Yes, definitely. And so J2 Core, can you just introduce yourself? I am waiting for you. Good. Okay, then at home, I am going to request you guys to make a clay, uh, a clay pot at home, wherever you are. I am going to request you to make a clay pot. Okay, you can do it. You can do it with your parents, your guardians, or maybe your or your siblings. And I'm going to request you to uh, to do a clay a clay pot. And as soon as it, uh, as soon as it completes, please send me a picture. But as we proceed with our lesson, I am going to give you more instructions and more simple instructions of how to make a clay a clay pot. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Clay is a type of soil with small uh, particles that hold water, um, and we can make it into a ball or a. Uh, um, or do or do different things about um, clay. You can even make your own your own sculptures with um, with clay. With clay, you can be completely uh, creative with clay. You can make a car. You can make a house. You can make so many things with um, with clay. Okay, clay clay can be molded into various shapes, including a clay pot. But for us today. You are required to make a a uh, a clay pot. Traditionally, clay pots are made from clay soil and and water. They are molded by hands, dried and then fired. The process of firing uh, the clay is exposing your clay to the sunshine because at this point we do not have the equipment to fire our clay pot. At this, um, the only thing you can do is to expose your clay to the sunshine, okay. Okay, Bunolo says, uh, say, where can I find clay? Hey, Bunolo, uh, Bunono, you can find clay by the river streams or, or wet areas, but I will request you not to go there to the river streams or maybe to um or to the parks alone unless if you go with your with your parents but since it's locked down all of us are supposed to be indoors okay um the other alternative um bonolo or all of you the other alternative is you can take soil where you stay in your backyard you can take that soil mix it with water and it can be a substitute of um, of original clay, unlike exposing yourself to uh, to dangers of going to the river streams and whatsoever. So my advice is that stay indoors. Ask your parents to uh, to help you out with uh, with clay. Do not go outside. Okay. Okay, Bushe. Okay, here's your homework. Here is your homework about um, making a mini clay pot. Take a small uh, ball of clay using uh, the pictures below to help you mold the clay into a little pot. As you can see, this is picture number one. You'll have to take a ball of clay, okay, shape it into something like a ball then force pressure inside of that ball then it would become a clay pot then you can look at these pictures then they'll give you a clay indication of what a clay pot will look like okay probably you can take pictures you can take screenshots 
I just took a screenshot of um of this. Um yeah. Okay, before we proceed to the next um before we proceed to the next slide, can I can you give me any questions or concerns that you you have? Okay. Yes, not all. You can you can do a screen a screen grab and go back to the picture to the slide again. You can take a, a screen grab of um of this uh, slide. Um, yes, Wuche and um, and others, you can send me an email um, of what you have done. Because remember, on Monday or Tuesday, I did give you an investigation. And so far, I did get so many um, emails from, from this group. And so you can take a picture of whatever you have done and send it to my email, please. And so... For the following um, lesson, we are going to do processing materials uh, and and uses or usages. Um, okay, let's say the there's someone who's typing so many things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so please do send me an email like it has at gmail .com. Follow us at our social media African Team Geeks at DVE underscore SA hashtag Sasso Foundation at Sasso SA hashtag STEM Champions and hashtag Lockdown Digital Schools. And thank you so much for joining our class today. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Have a blessed and a wonderful day. And before I before I stop uh, this class, can I go through? Um, our chat box for the last time. Okay, Gabriel. I... Okay, I don't know what's happening in, in our chat box. Okay, um, okay, and so from my side, it's goodbye.